How's it going, Patreon? Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of the secret of the sauce and how I get these fantastic little bubbly, perfect solder joints. Right here, these just absolutely perfect solder joints. Now this little grime right here, that is just old conformal coating, but the actual joint itself is near perfect. The first secret of the sauce is the tip of my soldering iron. Now I have this thing at 400 degrees and I have the big thick chisel tip. That's really important for ESCs, especially if they're big. They can suck the heat away from your soldering iron tip so fast that then it needs to heat back up again. And if it doesn't have like a thicker reservoir of heat, then it will just be all over the place and it won't give you that perfect little round soldering joint. When it comes to getting good looking soldering joints, the name of the game is Flux. Flux, 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 Flux. Now this Flux here is a no clean Flux. That means that you don't have to wipe it off because some Flux, they will actually corrode the metal if you leave it on there. So you might wanna spray it down with some alcohol and use a toothbrush and wipe it down. I do that anyways, even though this is no clean. You're gonna wanna apply a generous amount of flux all over it. If this was brand new, then I would just put some flux down and solder this up a bit and wait for it to cool and then come back and do what I'm about to do now. That's pretty standard, but the secret is, once it's cool and you get a decent enough bubble, come back with some flux on top and feed it. And as you're feeding it, you're lifting up your solder and you kind of just separate it. The reason why, as you're feeding it, you're lifting up and that's to create that bubble and give it space and then pull it off and then bloop, there comes a nice perfect bubble. You also want to have uh, ESC joints to be pretty bubbly. There we go. So I'm actually not touching the pad. Now that's important. And that's why you have to wait for it to cool down and come back and do this. Because when you actually solder the first part, you have to touch the pad and you know make sure you spread it around and get it up there. But once you're done with that, you're gonna come back and kind of form that bubble. The next thing you wanna do is cut your wires to length and then pre-tin them. And that means that the tip of the wire, you've applied a generous amount of solder. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just zap it with some solder real quick. I don't have the fan on because I want you guys to be able to hear me clearly. And I'll just pre-tin these wire tips. Now, once you're done pre-tinning your wires, you're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more flux. This stuff is essential for getting good looking, strong solder joints because it's gonna let that solder flow freely. Okay, now I personally like these little uh, surgeon's tools instead of using these. I used to use these but they just don't grip it strong enough when it comes to the motor wires. And what I'm about to show you is the key to getting good looking strong solder joints. Let me make sure that I have the correct orientation. Looks like this is the shortest one and this one and that one. Make sure you get the correct orientation. So you're gonna grab your wire and what you wanna do is make sure that you have it in place and you're steady. Basically, I wanna not have to move this at all. If you're having to bend and twist this wire, it's gonna screw everything up. Cause what you wanna do is heat up that bubble, slide this in just ever so gently and then pull the heat off and not move an inch. And that's gonna give you this wonderful bubble. So let's see if we can do that. Also a clean tip is important. Cause if you have a bunch of old solder on the tip of it, it's gonna leave that behind and screw up your bubble. Get a little bit of fresh solder right on the tip. Now see here, see how it's moving like that? I don't like that. You just want to slip it in and then pull the heat off real fast because you want to keep that bubble. All right. Now, the reason why this looks so nice is almost entirely because of all of these techniques, but also the flux. And if you screw it up, that's okay. As long as you're fast on the heat, don't leave this on there for too long, right? As long as you're fast on it, then it doesn't, you can keep trying over and over again. The problem becomes is when it gets too hot and then you start melting solder on other parts of the board and that's not good. So you really just wanna be kind of fast with this. You wanna get in there and pull it up. Now see here, this one wasn't so good. Now I wanted to, I hope you saw what I did wrong there. I realized I was doing it wrong as I was doing it, but I thought oh, I'll just keep doing this because then I can show them what happens. I put the wire on top of the pad and then I kind of smushed it down on top of that. And that's not what you wanna do. The bubble, you heat the bubble and you kind of slide the wire up in there. It's kind of a, a finesse thing and you should be practicing it, but don't put the wire on top and then smush down the wire uh, onto the pad because that's gonna give you a really ugly result, which it did. Now to fix this, you're gonna get some more flux. In fact, you, you want a generous amount of flux on this now. And this is the key. Okay, so you wanna get this and you, wanna, you basically don't wanna move this at all. So you kinda wanna secure this, clean your tip, Give some fresh, thick solder. Make sure it's got a resin core. Come down on top and just lightly touch it. 
there we go. You might need to kind of dab it and dab it again. You only get like two tries on the dab thing because if you start dabbing too much, what happens is, is the resin uh, burns away and there's no more resin anymore and then you're going to get what's called ice creaming and that's no good. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, look here. There's no more flux on that one. Just go ahead and reapply some. Don't skimp on the flux. I mean, it doesn't really, really matter as long as you have a strong joint, but it's not going to be impressing your friends at the racetrack, that's for sure. Especially if you have friends like mine, his name is a guy named Yaw, and he's very good, but also very critical of anyone's soldering joints. There you go. So I came in from the top, heated the, heated the bubble, and pushed that kind of wire into it. And that is how you get a really nice little bubble joint here. Let's do these last ones, and then we'll call it a day. Now, when you start having trouble, like getting it in the right position, just stop reposition it to where you can get a really nice firm grip because the most important part about this is that you're not forcing the wire into place. You want to kind of pre-bend the wire so that it just slides right in because you want to slide it in with no friction at all. You don't want anything bending the wire as you slide it in. So here we go. We're heating it up. Slide it in. Boom. You can do a little flick towards the shielded part of the wire and I found that kind of helps because that ice cream that would happen kind of rubs up against that shielding of the wire and then it, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't ice cream out so much. Okay, here we go. Get this nice and ready. Boom. Look at that looking great. Okay. Last. Of course, I'm going to have trouble on the last one. Oop, nope, we got it. There we go. And look at that, guys. That is a nice looking ESC. All the wires. Got a nice little bubble, nice and shiny. You want it to be shiny. It should be shiny. It shouldn't be dull. That means that you got a really strong connection, a strong joint, and there was an appropriate amount of resin in the solder. Guys, this is Dr. Quads. Thank you so much for supporting the Patreon. I hope this helped. Get a practice board and practice this technique on your free time because when you actually get to something like this, a big X8, you want to really know what you're doing and you don't want to end up uh, potentially damaging these very expensive parts. Thanks for supporting and I'll see you next time.